Welcome to another edition of Devil Dog Treasure Hunter. I have Kayla here today. We've got a really cool episode today. We got another unit. This unit is crazy, unique. I guarantee you, not another YouTube person that does what we do has the stuff that we have today. I'm gonna show you the stuff. This is a little different. I'm not gonna show you what I paid for it. I'm not gonna say where it come from. I'm gonna keep this on the down low, but I'm gonna show you what we found. Watch this video. Tell your friends. If you don't like and subscribe on this video, I don't know what to tell you because this is some of the coolest stuff that is, in my opinion, and we see a lot of cool stuff that has ever come in this warehouse. So with that said, me and Kayla's gonna give you the tour. We're gonna show you what we got. And I guarantee you, you'd be hard pressed to find another YouTube storage unit buyer that has found what we found today. So let's go. All right, so we just got here. It's a little rainy today, so hopefully I can get the camera in a spot where we can film. It's actually not raining too hard right now. It's just drizzling, as you can see. So right now it's actually doing nothing, but again, um, that won't be an issue. We'll find a way to film and set everything up. But this unit is gonna be full of taxidermies, which is pretty cool. You don't see that a lot in any units. Um, we got lucky on it. Somebody bought it, but then didn't come to pick it up. So they give us a, um, a rebid on it or whatever it's called. And uh, we got it. Uh, we were originally bidding on it, I believe. I could be wrong there, but it doesn't matter. We got it. We're gonna go open it. He's paying inside right now and you'll see us at the unit. And of course I jinx myself because as soon as I say it's barely raining, it starts raining. Don't you love it? Look, it's picking up. It's not there yet, but it's picking up. Watch, we'll get out there and it's like a downfall with my luck, with our luck. And I'm not getting this camera wet at all. So hopefully I'll be able to set it up. Obviously I'll do a little preview of it, but uh, unless we can clear some stuff out first, or if there's a little area I can put it, I, I don't know the view I'm gonna get. So, you know, if anything, I'll be able to do like a little film in here and there, but as long as you see every all the products and everything in there, that's all that should matter. But I'll figure something out, we'll see. All right, so we just opened it up, and like I said, taxidermies everywhere, everywhere. Look at them, cool on top of the table. But yeah, it goes back. I don't know how good this camera can see, but it goes back a long way. Let me see if I can get an angle here. Holy moly. Look at that. What's that? A ram? A ram. We got a snake. A deer. Damn, look at those antlers. Ooh, it's kind of scary. <laughs> I know. Cheetah? What is it? Hyena? That's a bear? That's a is boar. that a bear? A boar. Yeah, look at that. King Tut. Yeah, you got King Tut next to Shelton. Mm-hmm. You ready to come alive, dude. Yeah. Man, you got big old head. Here. What'd you say? There's two of them. Uh, no, yeah, it's three of them. Good Lord. There's three of them. Bears back there. They look like, Holy a, bla crap. like a black bear. It's like another black bear. This one might be a grizzly. Good God. Sheesh. What was that, mountain lion? Something like that, I don't know. Buffalo. Cougar could be a cougar. Goat. Lamar Jackson down there. <laughs> Lamar Jackson. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that's looking like. So we're gonna get this cleaned out. And if anything is cool other than what I just showed you, then We'll show you on camera too, but I think the next time you'll see us is in the warehouse with Mr. Richard going over everything, but other than that, yeah, we're going to get it cleared out and then I'll catch back up with everybody. All right, we just finished up. We fit that stuff almost perfectly inside of this truck. I'm not kidding. There's probably like an inch left over from where um, the end of the truck is, but I got cold, it got more rainy, as you can see. So yeah, but it wasn't too bad. A lot of the big stuff went in easier than we thought. It had wheels on them, so that was good. Um, I mean, other than that, we all, you know, it all fit well, like I said, and you'll see us unloading, and then we will go over everything.
So we're gonna start to show you what we got today. If you look over here, I got my main man Sheldon. He's playing with his snake. I got Bob walking in the door. Bob wishes he can play with his snake, but Sheldon's already got a snake. So this is a cool piece right here, a little cast, a little cast, a little cast mold of a snake. Um, the head actually comes off of it. Sheldon was playing with it earlier. I think I think it goes like this. Hayden was playing. Hold on, where'd it go? Maybe I can't get it off. I'm wrestling my snake. All right, the head comes off. I promise you. Cool little snake right here. Now we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes. This is a cool storage unit, something you don't see every day in this business. So with that said, we're gonna pan this way. You might've caught a glimpse a minute ago. We got animals galore. We got a zoo of animals. We got some furniture and we got animals. Kayla's over there acting like a moron. <laughs> we got a yak. That's a yak right there. These things are like a thousand miles, 18 miles up in the top of the mountains. They're the, the, I think they're the highest goat you can go. A yak on a rock, that's a cool mount. All this stuff is really cool stuff. And when it, let me before I get into this, let me tell you, taxidermy, check your state laws, what you can sell, what you can't sell. Because you can get in big trouble dealing in taxidermy. We're probably gonna donate it all because I got someone else donated to. Probably can't sell half this stuff, but when I saw the unit, I was like, I'm gonna buy it and I'm just gonna figure it out. Because I can't let something like this go. I don't even know what half these animals are. But I'm, I'm, I got a good feeling on most of them. We got a musk ox right here. These things are in like Alaska, way north. These are probably in the coldest conditions you can get. I think Discovery Show made a, made a show with these a while ago. Um, but it was the Eskimos were up there hunting them. The natives to that area of Alaska were up there, musk ox. These things almost went extinct and they were reintroduced in the wild up in Alaska in like the 1930s, I believe. But these things are cold. The hair, I mean, look how thick that that mane is on that thing. You know that thing lives in a cold environment. We got a black bear. Black bear over here. Got another black bear behind me. And check this guy out up front. Big old giant grizzly bear. You guys are like, man, you're walking past so many animals. We'll get to them, I promise. Yeah. That thing's coming at you. You probably want to uh, run. Actually, I think they tell you don't. I think these are gem shot. Right here, but I could be wrong. I'm not big into African animals. Might be gem shot. Got a buffalo behind Hayden. If he spins around, he can show you a buffalo. There's a buffalo right here on the table. Big old buffalo head. That's probably my favorite piece. That and the muskox. This big old grizzly bear and that muskox probably my two favorite pieces. It's gonna be hard for me to let this one go to my buddy, but I don't think I am. Maybe, not sure. My wife's gonna holler at me, but I'm gonna try to get away with it. Hey, just gonna give you a pan around, show you the animals. So that's a pile of them. Got a mountain lion. Got another bear. Get the pig over here. Show the pig. Warthog. Some white-tailed deer. White tails here on the floor. We got all kinds of rams on the table. We got sheep on the table. We got caribou on the table. We got a basket. I don't know how that basket got up there, but that basket 100% didn't come out of this unit. You got the warthog. For those of you who seen Lion King, that's what happened to him when he didn't make the fourth part. He's right there. Got some more sheep. Got some deer, caribou. That's actually caribou antlers up here. White tailed deer behind it. Got some more on the floor. Tune. We actually discovered King Tut's tomb right here. Got two of them. I don't know if you've ever seen these before. They're actually CD cabinets. So look at this. They open up their CD or uh, I guess book cabinets, whatever you want to put in them. But they're pretty cool. I saw them. So I looked them up when he first got in. I seen a, pair, a, one, a single one on First Dibs, the website First Dibs, and the guy's asking $1,875 a piece. He only had one. Exact same thing. Um, they're about six foot tall. Is $1,800 a realistic price for these? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it's not common, something you're gonna find, but I think, you know, it's probably more in your $750, $800 range a piece. So, you know, they're 1600 bucks right there in just these. Like I said, taxidermy, check your state laws. Our state is really strict, so I can't sell them in my state. Um, got a big old wood carving of a chick with a baby. That's actually a tree trunk that was carved out. That's actually a solid piece of wood right there, it's real heavy. We 
got Pocahontas. Pocahontas. Now, don't tell my wife that, you know, I'm snuggling Pocahontas, but I got Pocahontas here. I'm going to see if I can sneak in the bedroom and scare the heck out of my wife. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I'm going to give it a shot. But these, this is actually a cast. It's like a plastic hard cast. I mean, it's pretty heavy, but it's, it's a cool piece. Good details on it. Really good details on it. The table and a bench, which we panned across earlier. Um, this is probably like a South African wood. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's, I think the actual interior of it is um, Sapali, which is an African wood. But this wood right here, I'm not too sure of. But I'm pretty sure this is Sapali. The actual slats across it and the, and the main frame of it. But this wood right here is definitely not. This is probably carved. Um, table to matches it. Got a bunch of boxes and some miscellaneous stuff. Pictures, you know, lizard. Taylor's playing with a freaking anteater over there. We got a bird cage. The bird didn't make it though. He's inside, as you can see. He didn't make it from the trip over. Spears. What was that? The Romans, right? Use these? The Romans use these. Good way. Something like that. Um, oh, we got a sheep over here. So all this furniture, we're actually setting up for a warehouse sale now. So all this furniture here was didn't come out of the unit. It's just stuff we got. We got a warehouse sale this weekend, so we're setting up for that. Um, so I had to put stuff all the way around, and I'm going to have to reorganize again tomorrow because we got a lot of stuff to put out for that. But this stuff will not be in our warehouse sale. Um, we got a sheet right here, ram, um, some more miscellaneous stuff that come out of it, little bust, Christmas. It's a weird locker. It's all kinds of mixes of weird stuff. I mean, you got sports hats. You got hammer, you got an airplane, you got, oh this is a cool piece, so this come out of it. This is actually a silk flag and it says Tuma presented by Spartansburg Lodge 637 BPO Elks April 3rd 1918 and carried by me through the World War April 3rd to November 11th 1918 and it's got the gentleman's name, whoever it is. Um, so this is actually a flag that was carried through World War One, which is really cool. Flags, a silk flag, it's framed, nice frame. That's a really cool, interesting, historic piece right there. Um, I'm not sure the value. It's not significant, but it's just a cool, a cool piece to hang. Cool, cool talk about piece right there. Shield arms, paperwork. Um, we got some furniture out of it too, so I will show you a little bit of furniture to come out of it that cabinet so that's actually some old some old wood but put together so they used old wood to make this um that's a cool little cabinet right there a little country cabinet a little drop table and this stuff's full of stuff just a little knickknack nothing crazy to watch what kind of watch we got i don't know what kind of watch it is Let's see what kind of watch it is Oh, it's a tag hewer. No way. It's a tag hewer. For those of you who don't know watches, tag hewer is a is a pretty good brand. I don't know if it's real or not, but it's marked. It's marked. But the feel of it. So the way you tell a lot of times on fakes is you can take a watch and you can just feel it in your hand. And if it's got a real cheap feel, like aluminum feel, not real heavy feel, then a lot of times that's the first sign of a watch being fake. And that one feels like it to me, just by feeling it in my hands. Um, I'll get it checked out though, it might not be fake. So decorative cabinet, one door. Probably, it's a modern cabinet too. You can look, it's machine made. Um, dovetail is a, is, a, is a good indicator on age. Dovetail is when they, they tail two pieces of wood together. This is actually stapled together. And on dovetail, what you wanna look for, I don't have a piece of old dovetail in here right now, but if it's dovetail and it's uniform, like every piece looks the same all the way across, then that's newer. I mean, it still could be an older piece, but it's it's newer dovetail, where if this uh, little section of dovetail doesn't match the next section, that means it's all done by hand. So that's a, that's an indicator on age on, on furniture. Got an old trunk here. It's full of old Christmas stuff. Um, we gotta go through that, figure out what's in there. Got a little couch right here, a little two-seat couch, chair. Got another table right here. Still got water on it, it rained today, so the guys had to go load it up in the rain. So one of my favorite pieces right here. Oh, I know what you're saying. This is another one of my favorite pieces. This is actually an old piece of wood. I think it's been repainted, but it's a general store old piece of wood. I'm gonna keep that and hang that in my rafters. I'm um, gonna keep that and I'm gonna hang that up in my rafters. That's a really cool piece right there. 
Um, I like it. I like it a lot. I can't remember what movie that was from. Dumb and Dumber. Really. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, Dumb and Dumber. I like it a lot. <laughs> so overall, cool little unit. I got something flying around. Um, cool little unit. Not your typical unit you're gonna see in a storage unit. And I know you women are like, man, for the love of God, would you do a ladies video? Because all you've done is men's stuff. Collectible military toys. Uh, elect contractor units. We did do a church lady unit. So you saw that one. Some sort of a woman's locker. Um, we'll get there, I promise. We're doing a lot of things. We've got a lot of projects going on right now. A lot of different things going on. This unit actually, let me tell you about this unit. So this unit was purchased like a month ago by a high bidder on a website. I was actually way back, back, back bidder. And the, and the storage auction hosting company called me up and said, hey, we're sending you a second chance offer if you want the unit. Guy never picked it up. The second guy never picked it up. The third guy never picked it up. The fourth guy never picked it up. We can't get hold of the fifth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and 100 person. So if you want it, this is the price. As soon as they said that, I was like, I'm taking it. I know I can't sell most of it in my state, but I know somebody that'll take it. And I know, and it'll just work out. We'll do something. Um, so we brought it all home. Cool unit. A lot of cool stuff. Like I said, on taxidermy, check your state laws. They don't play with this stuff. Check your state laws. If you're going to keep it for your personal use, that's great. Some things you can, some things you can't sell. So make sure you check. Every state's different. Every state is different. Some things you can't sell, like ducks, federal migratory animals that are protected by federal laws. You can't. South African taxidermy, like some of this, some of it you can, some of it you can't. Depends on your state. You can, I don't even think you can take this stuff across state lines. But we got the unit. Check your state laws when it comes to taxidermy. Wanted to show you what we found. Lots of cool stuff. If you like what you're seeing, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. We'll bring you more videos like these. Maybe not this kind of stuff, but we're trying to show you a variety of stuff and we're just happening to hit a good variety here. So we want to make sure you've seen it. Hit that bell below, subscribe. We'll see you next time.